Hi, welcome back, my dear students. I am from the future. I came back to add a couple more lectures because, you know, I love what I do and I love teaching you guys more stuff every single day so you, that way you can get more knowledge in that big brain of yours. All right? Why am I telling you that? Because you're going to see this in the left side is empty. But don't worry about that. Just keep following the same pattern that we have been following all along and keep adding files to that demo folder that you got. That's okay. All right? Just learn what I'm teaching you right here and then you can do whatever you want with the structure but just keep adding files to that folder all right so let's in the lecture today we're gonna learn how to actually open a file and if we don't have that file we're gonna we're gonna create that file all right so let's work with files let's right click on this and let's create a new file called writing opening opening files dot php all right let's save it there we go. Now it's saved. We got it right here on the left side. Let's actually open some PHP tags. All right. And I realize that some of you might be using a different editor. That's okay. All right. Uh, I started. You can use. This is very similar to the brackets editor or to um, other editors out there. It doesn't matter what type of editor you use as long as you can follow along with the code and write PHP. All right. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is writing creating a variable because we're going to save the name of the file that we want. For example, it's going to be example txt colon. All right. So we're going to use a function called fopen. And this function, we're going to pass two parameters. First, the name of the file and what we want to do with it. In this case, w stands for writing. So we're going to open the file with intention to write it. That's what that means. This function is going to return a handle for us. It's going to return if it was able to write to the file or if it was not. And we're going to save that information in a variable called handle. Then after we open the file, it's actually uh, very good to actually close it because that could create problems if you don't. You can make your application a little bit slower. There we go. And we close it. All right. Now, this might work out of the box for Windows users right away. You might not have a problem, but if you are a Mac user like I am or a Linux user, and this is this is good for your Windows users to actually listen to what I'm saying because you will probably have this problem when you go online in production. So make sure that your server has rights to write to the file, your Apache server. So I'm going to go here to demo. I'm going to refresh, and you can see the file right here. If I click on it, it's going to say permission denied. That's because Apache doesn't have permission. So if you have Linux or you're in a Mac, all right, I suggest for you to actually give Apache permission. So you can look on um, Google right now is one of my best friends. You can say give Apache permission to write PHP or something like that. And then you go to this website is very famous here, Apache uh, Stack, Stack Overflow. And it will tell you how to do it. All right. Right here is one easy way of doing, doing it. You use a command called C-H-O-W-N for change ownership. All right. And basically it's saying give ownership to this, which is Apache, and the, in the group and the user group and the user all right get permission right here all right so basically you're giving ownership to Apache to this uh, file right here at the end and then you're changing permission to 0744 okay basically this permission allows you to have all access to that which is 777 all right but there is also another way. Let's let me also give you another link here. Let me show you. Find a better way. Okay, this is one way of doing it. We can see a change ownership dash R. All right. So this is for Apache uh, for uh, Linux users and Mac users. For Windows users. Uh, just watch it because you might uh, need to use it on your production environment. All right, but this is how you look for the information 
and you play around with it. But so we have this problem now, right? That we can. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna solve it in my computer. I'm just gonna go to the file. I'm gonna go to demo. I'm gonna right click on demo and get info. And as you can see right here, the permissions only Edwin has permission to write and uh, read and write, nobody else. So I'm gonna solve it by giving everybody read and write permission. You don't want to do that, right, in um, a production environment. You just want to give permission to that um, to Apache. So let's refresh here, but at the same time, I want to show you what it's going to do. So let me just put this here so that way you can see it. So if I refresh it, you're gonna see the file being created because right now we don't have that file. So let's refresh. And you can see that example.txt was created. Pretty cool stuff, right? So in the next lecture, I'm going to show you some more tricks so that way you can learn more about working with files with PHP. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lecture.